You must be Agent Thornton. I understand you have some important information for me? Yes, sir. I've learned about a plot to kill you during the rally this week, and to use your death to spark a massive riot and destabilize Taiwan. This is a troubling development, Agent Thornton. If it is true... You think I'm making it up? Let us just say I would like to hear the whole story before I make any decisions. A man with my political views lives with threats every day. If you can present me with compelling evidence of this plot, I will take action. The evidence I acquired was partially destroyed. Without proof, I'm afraid there's little I can do, Agent Thornton. What evidence do you have? I have proof of the plan to assassinate you. That's all. Then the riots are merely your conjecture. No, sir, Mr. President. Both threats are genuine. Please, for your safety, cancel your appearance at the rally. Canceling the rally at this juncture would do considerable harm to my cause. I am afraid it is out of the question. Then at least take extra precautions. Wear body armor during your speech. Post extra security something. Give me your evidence, Agent Thornton. If my security chief concurs that the threat is credible, I'm sure he will insist on my wearing a vest during the speech. But the if riot... I have security silenced dissenters in the crowd, I look like a petty dictator. I am sorry, but without hard evidence, I will not send that message to my people. This is all I have. Please use it, Mr. President. Taiwan can't afford to lose you right now. You are far more generous than some of my constituents, Agent Thornton. I will put this to good use. I promise you that. How'd it go? Oh, it could have been better. He didn't listen? I gave him the evidence on the assassination plot, but without proof of the riot phase of the plan, he refused to place extra security in the crowd. What are you going to do? The only thing I can do, figure out how to stop both plans myself. That doesn't sound so hard. Keep me posted. Mike, how did it go with Sung? About as well as could be expected, considering. He was actually a lot more reasonable than I would have been. Did he believe you? He believed the assassination plot, but refused to take precautions against the riots. So, he didn't believe you? No. You tried, Mike. And helping you out? Well, you certainly keep things interesting. So, you didn't mind the risk? Are you kidding? The worst part was trying to stay interested when a Halbeck executive is talking to you. Let me tell you about Westridge sometime. Are you planning to stay in Taipei then? Now I am. That is, if you think I can help, Mike. I don't know what I can do, but... You've been a big help so far. I couldn't have gotten to Sung without your help. You're right. But I was glad to pitch in. I'll try to gather what I can from my contacts, Mike. Until then... If I need any more help, I'll let you know. Thanks for everything, Scarlet. Good luck, Mike. And good luck with Sung.
Looks like Dang's men already made it here. How's that satellite uplink mean? Working. And you're right. Satellite imaging shows Chinese secret police all throughout the parks. We're a little late. Steven, what's it looking like near the stage? It's a madhouse over here. But not in that fun, violent way. This should be interesting. I hope our friends actually show up on time. Could use the helm. You better hurry, Mike. Sung's giving his speech in less than an hour. Speech? Weren't we here just for the fireworks? Yes, Mike. That and a little thing called regional stability. I bet those explosives were controlled from here. Looks like some of Hong Shu's men are pinned down outside the gate. You might want to help them out. There you are, about time. I wouldn't rush in if I were. Don't we have a gate to storm? That usually involves. Who the hell looks death patterns to a pop? This thing is crazy. The front gate should be all clear now. Feeling more coming to join the party. Huh? Well, 
Go on ahead. We'll hold our things, men, here. You'd better shut...
visual on Dang. Hey, we're not done yet. here. Is that all you've got?
Hostiles coming onto the stage. It's a straight shot from where you are. I didn't think you were one to hide, dang. You're missing your big opportunity. Show yourself. No. It will be over soon. <laughs> it will be over soon. doesn't make sense. I've read the files on you and Sung. Why would you try to kill him? I might not have been able to stop you, but my people will make you pay for killing Sung. You're a double agent? For how long? All my life. I won't pry then. That is, considerate for a hired killer. What are you talking about? I'm not here to kill anybody. My sources were clear. Michael Thornton has come to Taipei to assassinate President Sung. Funny, my sources made it pretty clear you were here to kill him. Then your sources are mistaken. If you're not the assassin... Oh, shit. No! Damn it! No! 
don't see anybody. I tried to warn him. I sent him everything I had on the assassination attempt. Mike, emergency frequencies are reporting riots breaking out. And they're getting ugly. Additional security forces are en route. Copy that. Omen, we've got trouble coming in fast. I'm guessing you want to get to the bottom of this as much as I do. Yes. Then let's move out. We're clear. Mina, I'm patching Dang into our connection. Can you give us an update? Reports are still sketchy, but the news is saying Sung survived the attempt. He was wearing a bulletproof vest thanks to a tip from an anonymous source. He survived? I'm glad the information I passed to him did some good at least. popular guy these days so this VCI comes to me and he says to me Steve I got a proposition for you what was their offer so after I pop three of his fingers off for calling me Steve I say and what proposition might that be my good man heck this guy says to me oh god please don't kill me I just came here to offer you five million dollars to give Michael Thornton up as Ronald Sung's assassin tell me you didn't not gonna lie buddy I was really tempted for a minute there. But I kind of like you, so I told him to piss off. Then I set him on fire to make sure he got the point. <laughs> Shouldn't you have stabbed him to make sure he got the point? I figured his cronies would probably try and find somebody less scrupulous than myself, so I went ahead and called the news stations. Should keep them off your back for a while. I appreciate that. Hey, no problem, buddy. I want to lay low for a while, but I'll be in touch. Be seeing you, Mike. Searching for a man called Wen Shu in connection with the attack. Government sources have told INN that Wen Shu is a Taiwanese national with no previous criminal record. The nature of his involvement remains to be seen. That should buy me a little time to get out of Taipei. Better get moving. And so this is the result of your efforts in Taipei. Chaos in the streets, an assassination attempt against the president of Taiwan. Well done. There was gonna be unrest no matter what I did. Just an attempted assassination would be enough to create a panic. But with Sung alive, there's at least a chance of reining it in. Now you're beginning to understand. I admit, the lack of an identified assassin might slow things down, but the people already believe the assassin was a Chinese agent. Omen Deng's escape won't stop the push for independence from growing stronger. You managed to escape Taipei undetected, largely because of an anonymous tip identifying a man called Wen Shu as the attempted assassin. Stephen Heck's work, I trust? 
He may be a little bit crazy, but he came through. You have a knack for engendering trust. A useful skill for an intelligence agent. Must be my winning personality. That's all you cared about, then? Destabilizing Taipei? You should pay more attention to global politics, Agent Thornton. If Taipei pushes for independence, the People's Republic will prepare for war. If China prepares for war, so does the U.S. And we rename egg rolls Freedom Rolls. Something like that. Mike. Is it odd, seeing me in person? I could ask the same thing. It's not odd for me. Well, not after everything we've gone through. And what have we gone through, exactly? I came here because we're out of time. Taipei, Rome, Moscow. As far as the agency is concerned, they've been... resolved to Halbeck's satisfaction. Perhaps not ideally, but Halbeck's projections are... optimistic. So they don't even know they're starting a war? Not yet. First they'll delete Alpha Protocol, and erase everything associated with it. And that means you. Hey. They haven't done a great job so far, so don't worry about me. I am worried about you. I can't shut it off. For them, it's a lot more simple. If Alpha Protocol is erased, then you're erased. Whatever life you had will be gone. You'll be rogue forever. Until someone finds you. And kills you. And I can't let that happen to you. I can't let that happen to you either, Mina. You've been there for me since the beginning. And it sounds like Alpha Protocol isn't choosing who survives. That means you're in danger too. Am I right? Yes. Mina, we're going to get through this. Mike. I mean it. Mike, I can't. You don't know what's going to happen. Neither do you. Mike, about Madison in Rome, I... That's behind me. I didn't mean to put you in danger. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Well, that's pretty insulting. What, do I have halitosis? I didn't mean that part. Good, because that hurt my feelings. I suppose you already have a plan. Save the day? Somehow. But first I have to get back to the facility. Then take out the folks that trained me, along with any Marines, agents, or any other Halbeck thugs they've got with them. Get evidence on an international conspiracy, and prevent World War III. So I guess I better get started. We better get started. No, you need to get to safety. I don't want you getting hurt. And I'd be surprised if Westridge and Parker haven't already figured out someone's been feeding me information. If so, your life is in danger. I want to help. I can return to Alpha Protocol. I can still help you from the inside. I can't just throw you to the wolves. I don't want you going back there. Chances are they know about you. And if so... All right. There's another safe house I can hide out in until this blows over. But this could be the last time we see each other. Don't count on it. I'm not letting you off the hook that easy. What are you going to do? Call in a few favors. If Alpha Protocol thinks it's the only one with an army, they're in for a shock. World War III is it on the horizon.
37 points of concern, including a sharp upswing in terrorist activity in the past month, the assault on the United States Embassy in Moscow, and... Chinese officials are growing nervous. When asked what form economic... Scarla? Come in, Mike. Your door was open. You don't seem surprised. How did you know it was me? I would have known if it wasn't you. Footsteps are like signatures. That's an interesting skill to have picked up. In case you haven't guessed already, I don't have much of a social life. What is it you needed, Mike? Got another story to pass along? Something wrong? If so, maybe I can help. Wrong? I don't know, Mike. You seem to be a... complicated person. Very little about you seems simple. I was pretty certain you might be Interpol or military. But my gut tells me intelligence. But none of my contacts have heard of you. Contacts? So you've been checking up on me? I didn't want to, but you really don't leave me much choice if I want to know the truth. If I was intelligence, is that something you think I'd tell a journalist? You tell me. And I'd like you to be honest with me, if you can. I think I deserve that much. There's not much to say. I used to work for the United States government. I still do, in my own way. What do you mean? I'm not exactly welcome back home. When you met me in Saudi Arabia, that was my last official mission with the U.S. After that, I've been on my own. Except for people I've met on the way. Like you. It doesn't sound like you've had a chance to relax in Saudi Arabia. That's an understatement. My military and intelligence contacts didn't have much on you. Not surprising. So, I checked the corporate gossip. Halbeck's taken quite an interest in you. Let's just say Leyland and I don't see eye to eye on business practices. You ever met him? At press conferences? Quite the snake. But that doesn't explain why Halbeck would be after you. I accidentally discovered something in Saudi Arabia I shouldn't have. Something that could ruin Halbeck. What did you find out? I found they'd been selling weapons to Al Samad, and I got proof. Is that why you're here? I don't trust anyone else with it. And if something happens to me, then the world needs to know. It's that bad, huh? Pretty bad. I'll make sure it gets where it needs to go. Are you going to be all right? I have no idea. Do you need to leave right now? I do. I'm sorry. Me too. Thanks, Scarlet. For everything. I haven't done anything yet, Mike. Thank me when we see each other again, all right? <laughs>